Hi guys, Vex here, and on this episode of Vex's Test World, I'll be talking about uh, my new design for compact proximity bombs, and I've been sitting here looking at this field of the uh, new models, and they seem pretty stable. Uh, none have gone off so far, and I've been sitting here for about 25 minutes just watching them. Uh, so it looks like this is a successful design and so let's fly back over here to my building area and I'll show you what I made. Now this is the first in what will hopefully be a series of new designs and because I have I have more ideas to use but this uses blaze spawners now for this example model I have replaced the blaze spawners with pig spawners because this design does function on peaceful so even on peaceful difficulty and I've got it on normal now but even on peaceful the blazes will still spawn in here and uh, set off uh, the proximity bomb and this model is pretty simple It is, uh, let me take up the pressure plates too, so I don't accidentally step on this and blow up, blow myself up. It wouldn't be the first time, I promise you. <laughs> I've had construction mishaps before. But this is very, very simple. It's two blaze spawners, and then you have... Here is the glowstone that stops natural spawning, and that's hidden behind a wall of TNT. Uh, so the light level over here, I think it's like uh, 1, 15, 14, 13, 12. I think the light level over here is around 11, which is sufficient for blazes to spawn, but nothing else. So you just come in here, and I'll show you this again. Really, really simple. Just make that little curve, and then put in the pressure plates and then fill in the empty spaces with some more payload to make the explosion bigger. And this space right here is for the blazes to spawn. And then you just cover it up, and let me get some actual stone here. And you seal it up. And then save it as a schematic, and you are done. That's it. So it works on any difficulty. So that can be that could be seen as a positive or negative depending on what you're going for, but if you are building your map and you're still working on it, just be uh, careful. Even on peaceful difficulty, you get close to this, it will be set off. So I would recommend if you're using this in an adventure map, placing them. Maybe just mark off the area you want it to be with some sort of marker, like a piece of glowstone or a piece of cloth or just whatever marker that's going to stand out in the environment. And then when you're about ready to finish up the map, come back in with MC Edit and import the proximity bomb to that location and then save it. You don't have to, you don't have to run around in your uh, in-game in the world and risk setting them off. So let's go see it in action. And I'll leave it on peaceful just to demonstrate that it does work on peaceful. And I, you can see, compared to my very first proximity bomb design, uh, this thing is, it's, it's uh, 5 by 5 by 4. So it's 5 wide, 5 long, and then 4 tall. And it's much, I mean, that's like one, it's like a third of, it's a third of the size of my original model. <clears throat> so I'm pretty pleased with it. And let's go over here and set a few of these off. Yep, there it goes. So even on peaceful, you can see it explodes. And I'll put it on normal. And we'll set this one off. There it goes. And let's do one more. Boom. 
Okay, and that one actually left, surprisingly, kind of surprised it was left these blocks up near. That's okay. Uh, there's no... Um, it's definitely going to... There's no redstone involved. It's just pressure plates and TNT. So there's... Even if the pl player tunnels into one of these without it going off, then uh, there's not really anything. I mean, there's some TNT in the blaze spawners if they wanted to make like a blaze grinder... Uh, but other than that, there's not nothing really there. I mean, it's a it's a few pieces of TNT in the blaze spawners. So, yeah, even even less resources than than uh, my original design. So I think that about wraps it up for this quick video. Uh, the next video will be uh, more more designs because I'm not done with just this one. Uh, I want to try out different designs, and I'll make a, a short video for each each one. And the I think the next one will be using cave spiders to make an even more compact design. And probably the one after that, I will be experimenting with fences, uh, because monsters do not spawn on fences. And you can put pressure plates on top. And the pressure plates sort of work. You have to be beside it, not on top of it. It's kind of weird, and I'm not really favoring that design because I'm not sure how that mechanic of the pressure plate and then bumping into it from the side, because it causes redstone signal. Let me just uh, put some some sort of demonstration material here. See, that, that does work, but I don't know if that, that behavior will change in a future patch. So I would like these designs that I make to be future-proof to have, you know, uh, to make it really unlikely that they'll stop working. So, so I'm, I'm still on the, on the fence about the fence. Oh, God, that was bad. I'm still on the fence about the fence uh, technique. Um, but, yeah, next video should be cave spiders. So that's it. Very simple, very compact, blaze spawner-based proximity bomb. And I will see you guys later.